Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and I am here at Big Horn Boots in Billings, Montana. This is a great store and they have some great boots too, including this Hondo model number 2012. Some of you guys requested me look at this boot while I'm doing this little tour here with Hondo and here it is. We found it at Big Horn, so let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya. Lots of you guys are requesting some really tall boots these days. I'm along for the ride. Like, I'm willing to try these on. You know, the taller boots aren't completely my style, um, but I love trying them on and seeing how they look and feel. So uh, let's get straight into it and jump into the rundown. This Hondo 2012 is full grain leather on the foot counter and the shaft and it looks incredible. We also have a saddle vamp here that wraps across this instep. We got a nice round toe here with a single stitched welt. Like I said, the boot stands at 16 inches tall with a beautiful fern stitch pattern all the way up. I love the forest green here too. The combination of the sort of chocolate leather down here and the forest green is just really classy, guys. We got a two inch stacked leather heel down here with a spur shelf. What's really cool about this Hondo 2012 is that it has a rubber midsole. You can kind of see this dark line that runs in between the welt and the outsole. And we've seen some other boots on this trip that have had the double leather outsole, but this one has a little strip of rubber through here that separates that as a midsole. And that is really, really cool because if you do get a hole through this outsole, you'll start to see that rubber and then that rubber will take even longer to wear through. And on the inside, it is leather lined all the way through on the shaft and the foot. And of course, the traditional make here it has a hard leather insole. Since it is a Hondo boot is made in Mexico and it's coming in at $239 here at Bighorn Boots. Now it's time to try this boot on and see how it looks and feels. All right, I got the Hondo 2012 on right now. It feels great, that leather that uh, they're using for the foot and uh, the counter just feels really nice and supple. Um, the that rubber midsole is very interesting. It kind of feels like it might make the boot just a little heavier, but not that noticeably. Like I kind of feel when I picked it up to put it on that it was just a little bit heavier than some of the other 16 inch boots that I've tried that just had the regular, you know, one leather piece, not the double leather or the ones that I wear all the time, the uh, 2670s that are 14 inches, but uh, this is a 16 inch boot. I would expect it to be a little heavier. I also think that that rubber midsole makes it a little bit heavier, but it's also gonna last a lot longer too. If you do happen to wear through that leather <laughs> outsole, you do have a complete layer of rubber there that'll keep that boot lasting long if you did wanna push it. Probably wouldn't wanna recommend it if you do run through that leather get a resole or a half sole, but if you really wanted to push it, then I think that this boot is made to be able to push, and that's kind of cool. I think it looks great. The chocolate color is awesome. Here's the POV. You gotta love that toe shape. That's a good round toe. I'm not sure what number it is, but I would call that a U-toe. It's a good look. I'm a fan of this 2012 Hondo boot. I think it's really cool how they added this rubber midsole in here. It's uh, really creative. It keeps the boot going a lot longer if you needed it to. And sometimes you just need to go that extra mile or the extra month if you're in a position where you can't get your boots resold. So having something there to protect any damage from happening to the insole 
is always a good way to go, especially for the price point. I mean, here at Bighorn, they're coming in at $239. That's a really good deal for a tall boot like this, especially with it being made in the traditional way. It's all leather, guys. So you have the Goodyear welt here. You got the hard leather insole, the leather counter, the leather heel. So guys, I'm telling you, Hondo is underrated, but I have a feeling that uh, they're gonna be making some big moves here. And this 2012 is an awesome example of that. You guys can get this boot from Bighorn Boots. If you call them, they will ship to you. If you don't happen to be near Billings, Montana, they've shipped all over the states. So give them a call, here's their number, tell them that you saw this video. I don't think you could go wrong with this boot. Uh, let me know what you think of the 2012 down in the comments. If you found this video entertaining, educational, or you just plain old liked it, um, hit that subscribe button. You know, it goes a long way to helping me continue bringing you videos like this from great small stores like Bighorn Boots. I'll see you guys around. Peace. That 2012 goes just a little harder. It's ready for the job when you want to start it. And it can go just a little farther. to check out this video up here about the Hondo 2026 or I got a video down here about the wreck of the old 97. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.